Hey guys, how's it going? Back with another video, and today we have a cool video. Um, it's gonna be my top slash favorite basketball cards that I have in my collection. Um, it's not really based off of value, more like personal value and stuff like that, but um, as you might notice, there's not gonna be um, like my top favorite uh, basketball cards because a lot of those are Furcon Corkmoss cards. And those are going to be in a separate video. And then also there's some, like, I'm going to make another video on the top five favorite cards in my collection or something like that. And uh, those are not also, those are not in here as well. So I'm just going to kind of go through it, have some fun, show you guys what I got in my collection. And yeah, let's just, let's just get started. So they're not organized in any specific way, but let's just go like this. So the first card is a Darius Garland, uh, Court Kings level one SGC 10. This one I got off of eBay for, I believe like $10 or something like that. So I thought this was an absolute steal and uh, really nice card. Hopefully Darius Garland can do well next year. So nice card there. And actually that is the only SGC card I have in my collection. But next is a Zion Mosaic uh, Silver Hollow. Don't know how well you can see that. And also that stuff that you see there is on the top loader. But there's a Silver um, Hollow Parallel. Now this card is actually an interesting story because this was really the card that got me into collecting. Um, one day at Target I found... I believe 15 mosaic cello packs and I opened them and I ended up pulling this. I was so, so excited. And that card is going to stay with me for a while and I would grade it, but there's some centering issues and some, um, like little dings and stuff, but super nice card there. One that's going to stay in the collection, hopefully forever, but really nice card there. And next is a Kevin Durant, um, Chronicles prism update pink. Just a really nice card, really nice parallel, and yeah, I think it's cool. Now next is an Isaiah Stewart. This one's really cool. Isaiah Stewart Contenders Draft Picks Auto Blue Shimmer PSA 9 out of 15. It says 7 out of 15. Super nice card. This is um, part of my very first PSA submission, which is with the card below, behind it here. Um, but super nice card and one that honestly I am looking to sell, but just really nice, really enjoy having it and yeah, cool card. Next is a John Morant PSA 10 Mosaic Green. Now this card is also really special to me. I got it from the same cello packs that I got that Zion from, so it means a lot to me. I graded it, came back a 10 and that was a part of the Isaiah Stewart submission. But really nice card there. Has a decently low pop. So really nice. Glad to have that one in the collection. And then next, it's a very nice one. Anthony Edwards, Prism Silver. And all the stuff you see on it is all on the top loader and like the sleeve. There's nothing actually on the card. But really nice. Um, got this out of a Prism Mega Box. Just a really nice card. The next is a Zion Hoops Premium. Get out of the way. This is the silver parallel. Don't know how well you can see that, but once again, very, very nice card. Cool design. Really like it. The next, this is also a nice one. Have a Giannis Green Explosion. Not, can't really see the explosion parallel, but um, it is there. <laughs> uh, out of 89 from NBA Hoops. Super nice card. Um, one that honestly I probably might end up grading because it's in great condition and just a cool card to have really enjoy having that one the next is the only jason tatum rookie that i have i pulled this out of a boom box so really nice card here um just a nice card i like jason tatum uh however this design you have like the poop brown and, and i don't know about other people actually i know about other people but not a great design that year definitely not uh not it, so I'm glad Panini switched that, but <laughs> next is a Devin Booker uh, National Treasures. This is 
treasured threads out of 99 not nothing like too crazy about this card but this just means a lot to me um i'm a like really diehard suns fan so this is just awesome it is uh game worn and just a really nice card i got this earlier into my collecting so really nice stuff there and then for the next pile we have a mikhail bridges uh contenders optic auto i ended up buying this one myself and it was too bad because on the listing you couldn't see um that there were some dents on the card but still this is really like a pc card and super nice really like mikhail bridges so awesome card there and then next is a zach levine uh rookie this is like the hardwood from threads um if you guys don't know also i really like zach levine but he uh I, I just like him i like the bulls and all that but he's um this car is just cool i actually pulled this out of a blaster from this because a while ago target restocked and i was surprised to see it so i was like why not hoping for some drill and bead rookies but and that was zach levine i will take it the next is a Clay Thompson Dominators, Elite Dominators Green out of 999. This card, honestly, I have no idea what the value is, um, but it's really cool going off of the Zach Levine thing. I really like Clay Thompson. Hope he'll be, I mean, as close as he can to 100% this season. Um, I think he's supposed to be back by Christmas time, but really nice really nice card also got this out of the same boo box as that jason tatum card so super nice there and the next is a d'angelo russell optic orange uh fast break out of 193 so interesting numbering but uh honestly going with the clay thompson zach levine i like d'angelo russell i think him with the nets was I mean, he did as much as he could. He, especially that one year where they ended up making that playoff run, where it was like him, Levert, Allen. That was just an awesome team, really fun to watch. But got this for three bucks at the card, uh, card shop, and yeah, just cool card. The next, this one is one of my favorites. It is from Panini Instant. So, not really something you see often, but this is Booker knocks down buzzer beater for win. This was in the bubble, uh, you can see there, 10 out of 10, and this is when they beat the Clippers in the bubble to uh, maintain their undefeated run, and that was the shot where he's fading away over Kawhi, over Paul George, and that's just a crazy shot, one that will always be in my memory, I remember exactly what I was doing, where I was when I saw that, and that's just an awesome card for me. And, I mean, I have no idea what the value is on that, but it's just an awesome card. The next, going off the Phoenix Suns, this is a Chris Paul Prism Tricolor. It is when he, it is when, from when he was with the Clippers, but still, just a really nice card. And this year's Prism was cool because it, it was like the picture of the player and then the background didn't really disturb anything. So, I, I liked it. I know some people probably don't like it, but I think it's a cool design. And then next is also from Panini Instant, but I picked this one up before Mikhail Bridges really was a big, you know, good player, but this was his draft card, metal card, on card auto, uh, Mikhail Bridges, number 25, number 10 overall pick. This is 6 out of 10. Really nice card here. Um, I, it just means a lot. Uh, all my son's cards and stuff like that are really cool, but... This is one of the first cards I actually bought myself when I got into collecting, but really st nice stuff there. And then next is a Sadiq Bay Contenders Draft Picks um, Blue Shimmer first off the line out of 15. This is the same thing as the Isaiah Stewart. I ended up getting two boxes. That's why I have two of the parallels, two of the cards, but really nice stuff here. This one I might send to get graded, but the Isaiah Stewart was definitely in better condition. Actually, I wouldn't say definitely, but it was in better condition. So I don't know how this one would grade, but really nice. Sadiq Bay, great rookie season. Hopefully can have a good year this year. The next is a Jalen Brown. I, I cannot find a sleeve to fit this. Uh, <laughs> so kind of just having this one in the open, but keep good care of it. Jalen Brown, black gold, uh, rated rookie symbols 
from when he was with the University of California Berkeley at a 99. This is an awesome card. I remember I got this for I think eight dollars, um, like about a year ago. And I went actually went all in on Jalen Brown, but I did not have really anything to spend, so I just bought tons of like Jalen Brown base and stuff like that. But he ended up having you know a good year this year, and hopefully even a better year next year. But this is a cool card. The black gold uh, cards themselves are really cool. I honestly hope they would bring them back, but especially for the soccer. Um, the black gold soccer cards looked amazing a couple years ago, so hopefully they'll bring those back, but you never know. Then next is a Cam Johnson Optic Rookie, Rated Rookie Checkerboard Parallel. Uh, this one I got at a card show for 20 bucks. Really nice card. Um, Cam Johnson is definitely one of my favorite players. Uh, probably second or third behind Furkan Korkmaz, but really nice card there. And to finish everything off, we have a Darius Garland Optic Hollow BGS9. I got this card for, I think, $13 off of eBay. So I was ending on a bid, and I was like, why not? Uh, this was when I was buying a lot of Darius Garland. So I have a bunch of his cards, a bunch of, like, base rookies and stuff like that. But really, really nice stuff there. Um, if I had to, let's see, I'm going to put that Cam Johnson there. And where is the Booker? There we go. Put the Cam Johnson and the Booker in the back. Two cards that really mean a lot. I mean, all these really mean a lot, but... Yeah, if you guys are new, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below your favorite card that's here. Mine, uh, it's so so hard to choose, but um, I'd take all of these. Uh, but yeah, let me know down in the comments what your favorite one is. Um, I'll have another video on soccer and football, kind of the same format. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.